What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for the month. The series where we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price point. If you see anything you like in this episode, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But also, shout out to last month's winners. I commented on your post so you can claim your tech. And if you want to win something from today, just leave a thumbs up and comment on which you think is most useful. Now, first, we have a pair of headphones that packs a punch way above its price tag. These are the Status Audio CB1s. People have dubbed these the Audio-Technica N50Xs at a third of the price. With the 50mm drivers inside, these studio monitoring headphones deliver audio exactly how it was intended to sound. But to my surprise, the soundstage here is a lot more open and expansive than most closed-back headphones. And yes, for gaming, they sound phenomenal as well. Now checking them out, I love how simple they look. No branding, no logos, just this gold accented ring on the cups. And it's awesome that they not only fold up and collapse into itself for travel, but the ear cups also rotate to lay flat on your desk or around your neck. And they're lightweight as well, just around nine ounces. Inside the box, they also come with two nine foot cables and a quarter inch adapter. Now while using these non-stop the past few weeks, they pass every test hands down. They have a nice warm base, but still keeps clarity and detail in the mids and lower end. A song I always like to reference when I'm testing headphones is Eyes Open from 5.1. You can check it out on YouTube. And that sound crazy with this. These headphones just put you in the middle of whatever you're listening to. I'm telling you guys, trust me, these sound phenomenal for the price and will surely be a massive upgrade if you don't already have a pair of quality cans. Like, you can just look around. Anyone who knows what they're talking about have all given these glowing reviews. They're currently $59 on Amazon, but using code FRANKP10 at checkout will knock an additional $10 off to bring these to 49 bucks. I got you guys, don't worry. Now going right along with that, you guys know I like to do these complimentary product duos here. We have the Creative Sound Blaster G3, a USB-C amp and DAC for your PS4, your Switch, your phone, obviously your PC. This is an audio beast. So what this does is give your headphones a boost up to 300 ohms. So your headphones should definitely benefit from this. And I'd say you probably get around a 30% volume boost with absolutely no distortion. But there's a lot more. This is going to be awesome if you don't have an amp or a DAC already, if you don't use a sound card, or hell, even with laptops. Because let's be real, laptop audio is absolutely ass. So checking it out, as you can see, it's nice and compact. You have your headphone volume control and mixer control for balancing your game audio with your chat audio. You can monitor your voice, independent mic output volume and a mic mute button. Your inputs are on the front side, plus a center EQ button, which in my opinion is what makes this thing a game changer. So this is plug and play, no drivers required. However, there is optional software that lets you really tweak this and get that extra boost out of your headphones or headset. Inside, you can go through and pick between some of the preset EQs they already have from certain genres, and even certain games that are EQ'd. This will let you kind of change up your sound signature, but also gives you the ability to create your own EQs, whether by fine tuning the frequencies independently or drawing your own curve. It just opens up your audio and takes it to the next level. And also, one thing they have is this dedicated footsteps mode, which does admittedly kind of drown out everything else in game except footsteps. I don't like it personally, but it works. So here in Battlefield, I could hear some footsteps, you know, across the way, the neighboring house. I knew it wasn't the guy with me. So I heard someone over there. Of course, you know, took him out. Then I had to go all parkour, take out the clown in the house behind me. So while it's boring, the software is great. You can also then save your presets to the G3 itself and use this on your Switch or your PS4. Because by the way, it also comes with a USB adapter inside the box. There's also different microphone settings inside for cutting back background noise and enhancing your voice. This combined with the Status Audio CB1 headphones I just showed you, trust me, it's an absolute killer audio setup for just $100. You will love this duo. Next, we have Biscoff Cookie Butter, which is the best for $4 you'll ever spend in your life. I mean, next we have a drawing tablet. I've been using this lately to try to integrate it more into my editing workflow, especially great for like Photoshop and stuff. This model I have here is a bit more expensive, but they just released a V2 version of this, which is $50. <laughs> and obviously with a graphics tablet like this, you can use it as your primary mouse if you want. Great for digital art and making content and stuff. It's responsive, feels natural, and I'm really impressed with it. I've really enjoyed my time using this. For physical features on the right side, you have a turnable touch style for zooming or scrolling, 12 buttons, 
Then up top, you have 16 touch zones, which can be programmed as well inside the software to be other shortcuts, functions, macros, launching programs, you name it. So you do have a lot of functionality with this. The included stylus as well, also like you'd expect, you have some extra tips inside the box in case this wears out over time, a standing dock for it. And with the stylus, you have 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. So from real fine lines to, you know, thicker, harder lines, depending on how hard you press, this makes creating art and content, again, just natural. And a quick look for the software, all of the buttons and the touch zones can be configured to be whatever you want from mouse presses, keyboard presses. You have all that flexibility to change it up, reassign them, really get the most out of your workflow with these macros. This one I believe was 70 bucks, but like I said, the V2 version is 50. Now last month I showed off two photography products and they did very well. So I figured this month I'd show you two things that I like to use, it's definitely a novelty, not a necessity. That's these metal body caps for your camera. You know how lenses have lens caps, this protects the sensor on your camera. The red one I have is from Global Dynamics United and the silver and blue is from Condor Blue. Again, this is not a necessity. It's definitely just like a visual novelty to add to your camera, especially if you're bringing it with you on the go, you're constantly traveling with it. You shouldn't have your lens attached to the body, obviously. This will keep it nice and protected. You don't wanna mess up your sensor. At the same time, it'll look nice and cool. They were both 40 bucks and I figured, you know, what the hell? I like them, maybe you will too. And then last but definitely not least is something that I've been wanting and looking for for years, but never found it until Picati created it. This is a custom macro pad that has a ton of flexibility. You'll see what I'm talking about. So this macro pad has five buttons plus an aluminum volume dial and the entire macro pad can be mounted, which is really what makes this a game changer where it starts to get interesting. So before we get into that, this does come pre-programmed out of the box, mainly for like audio and stuff. You know, if you think of media keys on your keyboard, that's what this does. But using a text editor, you can change up all the functions. It's very simple. And we actually have 13 functions built in here. So we have the five keys, right? But if you hold them in, you get secondary functions. That's 10. And the volume dial, scrolling up, scrolling down, and pressing in. And this whole thing can be reprogrammed to be any sort of keyboard or mouse function. So any sort of key, scroll, press, whatever, as well as actual text editing. Great for volume control, obviously, photo editing, video editing, gaming, streaming, you get the idea. But like I said, with this being mounted, this is what's just what takes it to the next level here. For ease of access, you can mount it underneath your monitor, literally have it right there at an arm's reach. Or what about underneath your desk, right there, right at your side? Convenience, convenience, convenience. But another thing I thought about is what if you want it, you know, right on your desktop here, you could put it behind your keyboard. Depending on how big the forehead of your keyboard is, you could even set it on it, next to it, anything like that. And now you have these 13 extra functions right here. So a detachable, mountable macro pad. I saw this on Reddit a few months ago, happily jumped it on the group buy for $50, and uh, it answers all my prayers. Loving this thing from Picatee. And like I said, since it was a group buy, it's not currently active right now. But if you want to check out his website to be notified for a possible second group buy or any future launches he has, I will definitely put that for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for July. Hope you enjoyed. And like I said, along with this, I'll have all the links to the products you saw in the description. If you like this episode, let me know. Give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you're staying safe. Have a good day.